Well, hey there, it's Terry Sawchuk. It's Thursday, so that means it's time for a three minute Thursday. I really want to get into the stock market right now because a lot has happened even since our last Thursday. We didn't do a three minute Thursday, we did a town hall meeting. I spent about an hour covering what I thought uh, the markets might look like and kind of our positioning and our thinking behind everything. Well, one of the things that I mentioned in the town hall meeting last week was that this week the, the Treasury would announce the quarterly refunding announcement. And if they had uh, kind of come out and said that they were going to issue more longer dated maturity securities than what the market thought, that that could be perceived as a bit bearish. And sure enough, they surprised me because I didn't really think they were going to do that, but they did. And, and so that started the, the week off a little bit with more of a bearish tone. Um, and then on Wednesday, the markets absolutely got shellacked. Um, the mark, the, the S&P was down 1.6%, over actually 1.6%. The NASDAQ was down over 2.2%. And a lot of that had to do with um, problems in the banking sector. And then later in the day, Fed Chair Powell came out and was a lot more hawkish than what people were expecting. I mean, he, he sounded really, you know, frankly, um, dovish in December. And between then and now, the markets really took off. And so I think they had to kind of rein it in a little bit. Um, so we talked about how they weren't even thinking about cutting rates in this meeting, which it wasn't entirely surprising. But I think what was a little bit more surprising was the discussion around that there is no soft landing right now, that they don't perceive that they're there yet. Uh, they also uh, mentioned that unemployment would need to go up a bit uh, before they'd be more comfortable cutting rates. And, you know, at this point, I would say that the markets are perceiving that um, the, the, there's, it's not a slam dunk that they're going to go ahead and cut rates in March. And on top of all that, you've got raising geopolitical tensions with the killing, unfortunately, of the American soldiers um, in the Middle East. Now we have to figure out, you know, as a nation, how we're going to respond to that. Um, we don't want to create a bigger war, but you certainly can't let something like that go uh, without a response. And so they're going to negotiate that. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of confidence in the current administration in handling that properly, but you know, we'll see how that goes. So I, I think that that's going to create some more turmoil and uh, uncertainty. And obviously, you know, the direct impact of what's going on in the Red Sea is that ships are not going through there at all right now. And so that's adding you know, thousands of miles to the trip, it's adding costs, and it's going to create a potential supply chain issue. It's not right away, but it's going to happen relatively soon. And so for all these reasons, I think we were expecting a, a bit of a correction here. I think we're going to get it. It might be five or 10%. I, I just, I don't see a fall on crash coming anytime soon, because I just don't think uh, Powell or, or Yellen are going to let that happen. So that's, uh, that's my thoughts this week. We'll talk more next week and we'll see how everything plays out. But uh, what we're, we're looking for a buying opportunity right now and we hope we get it.